gaming monitors, gaming monitors, gaming monitors. We come across a dozen of them every year. One of different brands talking about different features they have and they keep throwing them your way. And I am not saying anyone is bad, but then there is one which comes across that is slightly different than the rest. And today we have one of those gaming monitors right here with us, which we're going to talk about. And guys, yes, I'm talking about BenQ XL2411K gaming monitor. This is one of the latest additions to the Zoe's 24 inch family. Um, but before I get on to talking about it, and I'd please request you to press your subscribe button and the notification icon if you're watching us on YouTube. If you're watching us on Facebook, like and share, uh, like and follow us there. And if you are watching us on IGTV, just follow us on Instagram and across all the platforms, including TikTok. Just keep sharing the love by liking, following, and sharing our comment. Guys, this is your friend, the great lobbyist, and I am talking about the BenQ XL2411K gaming monitor. Now, this is a great looking monitor 24 inches, 144 hertz as refresh rate, a better design and experience uh, with some really great technology like DYAC, S switch and shield. Uh, so great stuff. Let's start by talking about the overall look and feel of it. So one of the things that I loved about apart from the size which is 24 inches is the smaller base. Now what does that mean to a gamer? That means you have more room to fit your accessories on that table so you have more space for your keyboards, mice, headphones to keep, probably a mobile phone which is helping you out uh, uh, down below. So a lot of space around. So smaller base, more playing space makes it perfect. Um, the second thing is the, the angle. So you don't really necessarily, you know, need to keep in front of it. If you want to keep it on the side, you can tilt it up to 23 degrees so that you get the comfort of viewing and playing that game and making it more engaging for yourself. Now, when we do all the settings on, off of any gaming monitor, the chances are we might have to come back to it. Someone asks us what settings do you do, we go to the OS panel um, uh, and try to read them out to them, but not with XL2411K. So this is where with the share, which is a trademarked uh, BenQ uh, proprietary uh, so solution, which means you can share your settings with your teammate, friends and fans. You can save your video quality profiles quickly and share them with, you know, very, very simple user interface, which is amazing, you know. Um, <clears throat> so if you're playing a team, uh, team game or LAN or uh, even a first place, a first person shooter game, you just, someone asks you, what are the settings you're using to get the best out of your game? Plus that share, share button and you can share those settings with them. And when it comes to accessing those settings, fairly easy. Um, you know, uh, apart from having them on screen, there is an, uh, you know, you can get that S switch, which is optional. You can buy it separately, uh, which gives, which one click of a button and you have the settings right in front, front of you. So you can, you know, adjust them before the game, or even while playing the game, just in case the environment of the game has changed and you want to change them to a different setting, you can just press that, use that button on S switch and those settings will be in front of you and you can select the one you want to do it. Then comes the DYAC technology. Now, this is a very powerful technology. When it comes to, uh, uh, you know, high refresh rate monitors, one thing, you know, when imagine you're playing PUBG or any first person shooter game and you are making that fire or a spray, that the sparkle that comes around that spray, Dayak brings it out more clearly. So, you know, it is praying colorful outburst that comes out of that shot is what comes out from Dayak uh, as a technology. And this is amazing. This allows the gamer to see the position of the crosshair and the impact of the point more clearly, uh, which can help them with better recall controls as well. Now, but yes, due to uh, some, some design limitations, which um, every every technology has, uh, you know, the brightness of the monitor of 2411K did get reduced uh, while, when the diac was switched on. So, uh, but yes, again, it uh, purely depends on what your user settings are and what you're looking for, and you can set it up accordingly. Uh, then also one thing which also happens when uh, setting this up is the you know, the visual settings uh, and the adjustments uh, can be done with black equalizer to increase the visibility of the dark scene without overexposing the bright areas. Now, 
you can adjust the color vibrous, the setting, the tone to differentiate the animal targets, switch between the preset modes uh, to the preferred settings. All these flexibilities are being embedded into the BrainQ XL 2411K. And one thing which they've not done is putting all this technology without compromising on the aesthetics. So the, the panel is better protected, uh, you know, so and it's the size of 24 inches easy to carry with a smaller base. So whether you're going out for a LAN event or a, or a BYOC, you can carry this monitor with you and you can have that immersive gaming experience in a competition or with your friends or whatever your way of or place of playing is. Uh, now talking about some basic tech specs, of course, 24 inches of LCD panel, which gives you a 16 to nine aspect ratio, a resolution of 1920 by 1080, uh, when it comes to uh, and with 144 hertz and of course when you then but this is with PC and laptop gaming but when you're playing with the console you still get 120 hertz refresh rate for PS5 and Xbox series um, using HDMI 2. 144 hertz refresh rate uh, uh, with, with is, is a great refresh rate you, the gaming experience is immersive you enjoy that space um, you have a typical brightness of 320 nits and a contrast ratio of 1000 to 1 it has a lot of input input uh, output connectors it got two hdmis uh 1.4s two uh, hdmi 2.0 and dp 1.2 and a headphone jack as well one thing which i thought it could have done with is a type c connector um you know uh, that is one which is becoming a standard specifically you know, if I'm trying to connect with a PC or a laptop, my laptop does not have a HDMI port. I have to connect an external adapter for it. It has two Type-C ports. So if I was to use this monitor and I, it had a Type-C port, it would have been much more better. But yes, uh, still a great monitor uh, to have. Great quality, great output, great gaming experience. Um, but then a lot of optional stuff as well. You can put in a shield if you want to buy it. S-Switch, of course, is there. And... You know, it's flicker free with Diakov as well. So a lot of technology, a lot of amazing thought has been put into this monitor. So go do check it out at the retail stores around you or online on Amazon. I'm gonna leave the, le the links are down below. So do click on those links and let us know, uh, know what you think of it in the comments. If you have any questions, do reach out to us and we'll be happy to answer or have the BenQ team answer them for you. The, and let us know, that's the most important part. So like, share and comment and of course, click on the button, on the links below to find out more about the monitors uh, as well and other BenQ products. So guys, this is your friend, The Great Lobby, is signing off with BenQ XL2411K, the gaming monitor that is meant for very, very serious gamers. Keep checking it out and this, I'm going to say, keep yourself safe, peace and keep playing.